I'm Michael Seisberger, and this is a quick video to walk you through Load Tester Pro. First, understand that Load Tester Lite, Pro, and Pro Demo are all integrated into one program. By default, it comes up in demo mode, which allows you to use any of the advanced Lite or Pro features, but can only simulate up to 25 concurrent users. To generate a larger load, you'll need to sign up for a free Lite license or purchase a Pro license. Test case design starts by just browsing the website using your favorite browser or mobile browser or game. Load Tester works with every browser you can think of, including those in mobile platforms, as well as most native mobile apps. Test cases are represented visually as a logical tree of pages and URLs within each page. And you can see what the page looks like to the user or dive down into the HTTP headers. While this test case looks simple on the surface, modern websites, especially those using AJAX, usually contain dozens of hidden state fields. In this example, Load Tester has automatically configured all of these dynamic fields so that the test case just works. The logic is also customizable, so you can specify custom rules that become part of the automation process. Test cases need to be customized so that each virtual user is different. For example, in a test case with logins, you'd want each virtual user to have a separate username and password. For most text entry fields, click on the field and choose the source for the value you want entered into the field. Test case data can be generated in Load Tester using the automated tools, or you can import data from a spreadsheet or database. Here's another bit of cool automation. Load Tester automatically tells you when the test case has failed and shows why. Here I've edited the password to be incorrect, and when I replay the test case back, it detects the login has failed and shows you why in a heads-up graphic comparison, showing both the original correct web page and the page with the error. Once the test cases are ready, the next step is to configure a load test. Here, you choose the length of the test, the number of users and ramp rate, which test cases should be included in the test, the simulated network speed, and think time. By looking at the Engines tab, you can see which computers have been configured to generate the load. By default, load is generated from the local computer, but you can create hundreds of load-generated computers easily, automatically, by connecting to the Amazon Cloud. All are created, configured, and connected in a matter of minutes. While the test is running, you'll have access to all of the metrics that Load Tester collects. The runtime GUI is configurable. In this example, we can see average page duration, bandwidth utilization, page failures, throughput, and server metrics. Here in the Servers tab, you can keep track of what's happening on an unlimited number of servers. After the test is complete, all of the performance metrics from the front and back ends are available in this report. Going through the numbers for the huge amount of data collected can be a lot of work, which is why we created some automated analysis techniques. Performance is only relevant in terms of your own goals for each part of a website. For example, you might want the home page to load in a second, but customers will wait 15 seconds for a credit card to be processed. So you can specify any number of goals for different subsets of your web pages. The performance goals get combined with the collected metrics and the user capacity analysis to tell you how many users your site can handle. You can still get in-depth information you need to tune a website, but the summary is a big help boiling things down to whether your site is getting faster or slower. You can then follow links right to the slow pages. Every metric you've heard of and a few we've invented are available to determine why this page has failed its performance goals. Next, you can visit the server checklist to see how your servers performed. In this example, the checklist has flagged CPU usage as being the main limiting factor. More detailed charts, such as this one showing process utilization, help you confirm those results quickly. I've only covered a small portion of what Load Tester can do. Check out any of our other videos or download the demo to learn more. Thanks for watching.